Hello, hello. Just going live to talk about the upcoming. Uh, hey, Carlos, you has a league member here hopping on. Good to see you. I'm just now going to post a link here for those folks that may want to join us. And our Discord. So, yeah, our. Uh, we got Field of Dreams for baseball. Now we got Court Dreams Basketball League. Of course, I guess I could edit the name here. It says Court Dreams Basketball with just one L. So welcome in, Carlos. I'm going to talk a little bit about the league show. Uh, I just did a little mock one to find out, you know, what it looked like to have 12 teams. But I think right now we've officially got 11 players. Um, this is what I'm showing right here. Um, I've got Bernie in, myself, Sean, who's world's worst gamer, Todd B, also known as Buckeye Todd, Hammer Time, who's been part of our Discord uh, that express interest in this. Of course, Big Clue um mv we got slashed david yourself carlos and uh Dwayne express interest as soon as we get a 12th we're ready to go i don't know who that 12th person might be that wants to join us but i thought at least um maybe we could find it on this broadcast if somebody stumbles across it says hey what's this um court dreams basketball league thing it's very similar to what we're doing in fields of dream basketball we're going to select three years, one year from each of these ranges, 1960 to 78 will give us a year, 79 to 97, and 98 to 2014 will give us a year. And we're going to have that five-year buffer either way, meaning, you know, if 1963 or if 1977 is picked, then we wouldn't count 79, 80, and 81. We just run this Thing from 82 to 97 and so on just making sure there's a five-year each direction buffer this would be a keeper league just like we do in uh, the baseball league uh, mv and clue and i did some mock-up <laughs> discussions in that around uh, what the keepers would be and we um, landed on four meaning from year to year you could keep four players and then determine once you kept a player whether they're going to advance forward in their career each season or backward, just like we do in the baseball league. So enjoying it, enjoying it. Um, Clue, I don't know if Clue's joined us yet, but if he does, I'll be more than happy to let Clue um, hop on. Uh, I see he's got he's he's working today. I think he might have his headphones muted and uh, his voice muted. Roster size, roster size, 12 active, 14 total. So that's what we'd be looking at. Um, that's a good idea. I'll write it down here on the screen so we can see it. Well, roster size, it will be 12 active, 14 total. Keepers, four. Um, and then I've just given it um, names next to the team number. So whenever we do the draft order, we can just pull random team numbers here to figure out uh, what the draft order would be serpentine. The other interesting thing that we were able to get Carlos on this was if you, you can only have one of your two teams be over 500. In other words, a winning team. So if let's say you get, it's 1966 and you've got your draft pick and you take the 66 Celtics then for one of your other two seasons you have to draft that the team you'd have to draft would have to be 500 or below you can only have like one champion team or winning record team 
we did some mock-ups running teams and checking things out. And that was pretty good. So we'll see how many people. We don't get much interest. We've got four of us on here, but would be interested to know if there's somebody that watches this that wants to join. We are in need of a 12th team. And in a few minutes here, if a few more people join us, like Carlos, I don't know what you think. I might as well just do the random three years so that we know it and then we can kind of announce i put a few oh good sean yeah that would be good would be good and see if anybody has any questions out there but yeah, the clue must be tied up, or I'd bring him on here to talk about it. Or MV if he joins, because the three of us spent some time uh, last weekend, I think it was, or maybe even farther out before that, looking at what years we'd start with. We thought, hey, we started 1960. Then if you draft a Bill Russell or a Bob Cousy and you wanted to go backwards, you'd still have some years going back into the 50s. And, of course, we didn't want to get too close to the current time because, you know, if we run through – three or four of these seasons in a year, you wouldn't want to have, you know, 2019 and then run out of seasons in a calendar year. So that would be the ranges. But yeah, it'd be fun. I, I think this would be a good one. I did some uh, mock-ups. Pull the league up I did here. And you can see, here's an example of a team like team nine here that was made up of the 79, 80, 76ers and the 99, um, what's his original team? Uh, 2000 Dallas Mavericks, right? And then just picked 14 players out of that, ran a mock league to see how the teams would do. The, day, the game does a great job with um, three point ideas. Yeah, I it, we stumbled on that, Carlos, because we kept thinking that too, especially in a small league like this. It's like, wow, you you know, if you get one of the great teams like the 66 Celtics or, you know, the 96 Bulls, then getting some other all-star team basically or a top team would be too loaded. So having to have that other season team be 500 or below, it um it's pretty good. Or we could even do it. That would be a vote. You know, do we do 500 or below, or does it have to technically be under a 500 team? So either way is fine with me. So what other questions might you have on here? And I could pull up our, uh, I could do our random generator. See what we've got here. Could random generate 1962. 14, Sean. Uh, 14 total. 12 would be active for every game. So you'd have two inactive players there, um, you know, for injuries or whatever that the GM could call them up, but 14 total. And see if I can move stuff around here. Got a little different. Cool. So, yeah, any other questions out there? How about I just pull years? What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready. We'll just, it might help uh, advertising to people like, hey, here's the three years we're going to have starting off the very first one and see if we could get some interest and even have, you know, 12 teams, even 16. Who knows? Injuries off? Hell no, injuries off. Injuries on. Maxed. Injuries on player durability ratings. Because we'll have the depth. 
especially in some of these teams, because you've got basically two intact teams to make a team out of uh, minutes. You're going to have a plethora of minutes at each position that you normally wouldn't have. Yeah, look at this. Here's a good example. You got one, two, five, you know, five six, seven, eight, nine, one over 3,000. You got 10, 11 players over 2,000 minutes. Let's take a look at durability ratings. Do they have them listed on here? Oh, yeah. Should be fun. So if you guys are good with it, I'll hit the random uh, where I put it. Um, hist <laughs> I can't even spell. It will be historical era, average historical era. Oh yeah, rules. We'll have we'll use three point, um, twenty four second shot clock. Um, we can figure out whether we want to use jump ball or alternating. We can kind of vote on that stuff and figure out um, that. But yeah, or, or whether we we want to have zone legal or not. But yeah, I've got three point shot clock, so both errors can compete. The the game does a great job of. Uh, doing three point three pointers for pre three point teams. Yeah, and then and we can do that too. We can vote on those free throw rules too. Like, um, you guys know what I mean? Three to make two on penalty or whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm open to that. We can figure out which ones make sense for a, a, a historical league. So. Same thing on usage. You know, what do we, when do we want to hit penalties, right? Do we want to hit them at 110%, 120, 120, 30, whatever? Open to kind of put that to a vote as well. So, how about we hit, oh, and the other thing to note, too, is if you get a year, let's say, so if we get a season, a year that had both NBA and ABA teams, you can take either one. So, you know, if I'm trying to think of an ABA or, you know, 1973, uh, you could take the, the Nets with Dr. J on them, right? Um, you don't have to take an NBA team from that year, but it is. It's only, um, only one team over 500 record. So choose wisely, right, of your two teams. So... Are we, yeah, I mean, cool. Yeah, boom, baby. You guys, are you guys cool? You ready for me to kick off so we know what the seasons are? Mm. 
me hit the random. Let's do it. Okay. Boom. 19. Oh, here it is. Oh, let me drag it over here. 1970. So. Season one, 1970. Okay, so season, so 1970. Oh, no, we're good. Um, so 79 to 97 is completely open. And that would be 1983. And 83 is more than five away. So then 1998 to 2014 is wide open. And 2005, and there we go. <laughs> There's our first three se uh, years. You can only get two teams out of those three years, and only one of your teams can be a winning team. <laughs> Beatles! Woo! What the crake is? What's up? We're craking over here. We're cracking. Um, yeah, Beatles, we're looking for a 12th player and more. But what we just did is I've got the names of everybody that's confirmed interest in the basketball league. Just going over the setup here. Uh, 11 of us are in it. We're looking for at least a 12th, if not some more, right? And the other one is 1983, Sean. 1970, 1983, and 2005 are the three years we'll have to choose from. You get two teams, but only one of those uh, teams can be over 500. And um, you can't pick two teams from the same year. Active 12-man roster, but 14 total is what you'll carry. And then keepers will be four players into the next season. And you get to determine, just like in baseball, whether you're going to advance them forward in their career or backward in their career. So. What's fun about that is a little bit of decision making, right? I can think of some great players in 1970 uh, that you'd want to take back or forward right away. Either one. So interesting years. So let's pull up. Um, as soon as we have a 12th person, Bernie, I would I would then do the random selection and get the draft. Bernie's ready to draft. I already know him. He's ready. Like, let's go. If we knew a 12th person, I'd say, let's do it. Um, I know uh, Sean said he posted on some of the Sim site on Facebook or whatever. Um, interest, like to see if there's interest in the league and all that. But uh, yeah. If we get one more player and we've got to confirm 12, it's like, cool, we can put the draft order up and then announce it and give people in Discord um, and those that haven't paid attention in our Discord. I went ahead and just started under here. You can see Court Dreams Basketball so that we can start, you know, we'll start getting our communication there. But we could announce the draft order and just take our time and do the draft there. Um, to kill time, what do you think, Bernie? We pull up um, basketball reference and see what 1970 has in store for us. Well, I got to switch over here to basketball. Let's look at 1970. Oh, boy, I'm thinking that Milwaukee Buck team. With uh, Kareem and um, look at that. Oh, yeah, by far. So there's some really good choices here. Knicks were, were tough then. The Bucks, the Laker team, right? But that Milwaukee Buck, if, if that would be one of your two teams as your winning team. That would be the prize to me right there. Because you got Kareem. I mean, you got Bob Boozer on that team. Bobby Dandridge. Oscar Robertson, taking Oscar Robertson on this going backwards and Kareem going forward, 
though that would be a great nucleus of a team right there. So straight up. Carlos Yanis says the Knicks. Yep. Because I'm thinking Walt Frazier, Willis Reed, uh, Bill Bradley, DeBusher, Cassie Russell's there. So that's a good team as well with a winning record. So if we look at 70, 71, you got one, two, three. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Well, eight. The 500 team wouldn't count. Eight, nine. <laughs> I know nothing about the hoops. <laughs> now, let's look at the ABA 1970-71. Because those are eligible as well. The Utah Stars. So let's take a look at that. These uh, teams are available as well. So if you look at Vig here, here's something I could think about, that Pacer team that was mentioned. You got Mel Daniels there. Pretty good, but I don't know if you, it's got the keeper star quality. Virginia Squires has a guy that's pretty good. Um, oh, no, they don't yet. It's the next, um, it's 72, I think, isn't it? That um, Dr. J comes in. But, you know, hey, if the year has both ABA and NBA, then you, you feel free to choose from whatever team, whatever league you want. Earl the pull on the bullets. Let's take a look. Um, ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Yeah, and, you know, basketball can be misleading with the win law because you look at this. You've got, uh, yeah, Kevin Offrey on that team, Earl Monroe, Wes Unsold. Very good team. Um, what else do we have? We've even got the Pistons. That Midwest division is pretty tough. we got the Bulls, right? Norm Van Leer on that team. Jalen Rose's dad. Oh, no, that's Jimmy Walker. I'm thinking of Jimmy Collins here. Uh, I'm thinking of Bob Love, Jerry Sloan, Chet Walker. There's some great players there. Yep, 73 for Dr. J. So when we, um, for the seasons we choose, the way action rates them would be this. 1970 is, I should put this in here, right, so people know. It's the first year. So the 1983-84 season action just calls it 1983 2005 would be 2006 but let me put that on there so that we know exactly yeah 2000 okay let's move over and look at 2005 let me see can i just look at the whole nba no i can't let me just go this way All right, who are the big dogs here? So we got the Phoenix, okay, Detroit Pistons, that team with Rasheed Wallace and uh, Chauncey Billups, Tayshawn Prince, right? They're good. Miami Heat, Spurs, 0506 Spur team. Tony Parker, Tim Duncan, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James in his second year. There you go. Some interesting uh, interesting choices as to who you would pick to be kind of like your above average stellar team. And then what's really cool is when I when we were looking at this, you may not have as many players, but you like a sub or a 500 or below team here. Let's go and take a look at like Oklahoma City. Okay. You can still grab Chris Paul as a rookie. Interesting, right? So you can still get make a great team out of um, two teams with one being a winning team and one not. <laughs> yeah, Clue, tell, tell Beatles. What's up with that? So now we know, any, any of you that are just joining, we drew for 
Uh, we've still got to figure out the draft order if we can get a 12th owner committed. But our, um, let me just change this so it's not confusing. The seasons right here, 70, 71, 83, 84, 2005, and 6. You get two teams. One team can be over 500. Yeah, 83, 84 Moses that year. Because whoever gets, um, you could get Dr. J on that team. You got Andrew Tony, Cheeks, Moses, Bobby Jones. Very interesting um, spacing we got. No team in the 60s technically, but boy, you could get somebody in 70 and take them back. Very, very interesting. Anybody think of anybody that might be interested? Let me know. Because we've got just one more to go. I know David's ready to, to kill time. I know Bernie right now. No, Bernie, it's the opposite. I put it up at the top. Um, I'm putting this it's the action goes by the the year the season starts, not ends. Here are the three seasons that were drawn. Keepers at four, but yeah, as soon as we get a 12th, we could say, boom. Yeah, and like it is going to be fun, Sean. It's it's really cool. And the, the cool thing about the game too is it really uh, one of the things I like about it is it, setting up the manager in this can be a, as in depth but easier than baseball. And I say that because let's pull up one of these teams that Clue and MV and all them. We're doing a mock thing. This would have been MV's team, so don't laugh at how bad it is. But MV had. Uh, da, 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 da. he drafted the 77 78 Celtics, which was a losing record, either 500 or losing, to go with the 64 65 team. This is the team that he put together. Okay, the nice thing is you can hit computer depth and it'll depth chart you, or you can manually change it. It also goes ahead and builds situational lineups for blowout, you know three-point lineup, defense, all that good stuff. There are a lot of, you could also set up a rotation grid if you wanted to, you know, you can have the CPU set up the rotation grid for you. You can go in and um, target minute players. Well, let me go in this way and do it. If you click on a player, you know how we can manage them? Right here, you can go into... Oh, where is it? Coach. Game plan. You come in to coach game plan and figure out against certain opponents how, how you know, least, most, how you want to be more aggressive, fast pace. You can set the average that you want your, your team to play at, right? Um, defensive coverages that you like, you know, how often you press, trap, all that good stuff. Um, you can have the computer set it for you, which it does, and you'll look at the computer changing it based on the folks on the team. So you can do that as a starting plan. Does some really neat stuff um, at the player. Okay, where is my usage? Okay, it's not it. Let me pull Collins up. So under Dave Cowens, instead of having a manager tab, it has a usage tab. So you can go to usage and you can tell it, hey, it's defaulted at 42 minutes. But if like you wanted to split time between him and um, Bill Russell, you could say, hey, I want him to get 20 minutes a game. I want, you know, or close to it and Russell to get, you know, 28. And, you know, I don't want to play him at when he's tired. I want to do that, right? 
the in, how often he gets the shots. You can say, hey, I want him to post up inside based on what his real number was, or I can make it be more or less. So to me, the, the, it's a, just as in-depth, but it's easier to go through the settings and do that. Just my thoughts on that. So I can set him to that, then I can set Bill Russell to, let's see, 30 minutes, or let's say 28 minutes a game for Russell. And then I can come over here and go player usage, right? Um, I can CPU that, and it changed it a little bit. Oh, it's got Wicks playing some center too. So now it wants Wicks at center over Russell. Let me change Wicks. Don't play him at center. And now if I hit CPU. No. There we go. Do we have to draft a pick from different years? Do we have to draft a pick from different franchises? That's a good question. No two picks from the same years. Okay. Only one team allowed over 500 record. But that's a good thought. It, um, what's everybody's thoughts on that? That could even add a different spice to it, right? Meaning you couldn't have two of the same franchise. Does that matter to anybody? You guys let me know. Um, it, we've already talked about that um, midlife at um, prop, uh, simming, maybe to the last quarter, you know, letting it do its sim and then then just really letting the, the replay uh, the chalkboard and everything take out for um, like the last period. Bernie and I were talking about that. I think that's something that the broadcasters can kind of get a feel for either, you know, maybe there's certain increments where you feature like the first six minutes of the game and maybe the last period or whatever, or you zoom or you just say, Hey, I think we're just going to play the, the fourth and, and pick up from there. I mean, I think that's something to figure out as to what makes sense for how long to do a broadcast. But with the Zoom feature, and um, that's very helpful. So midlife crisis, are you telling us you're the 12th team? as I wait anxiously. Any other questions, thoughts while we're out there? I mean, I know Sean mentioned he hasn't played a lot with basketball since like the a while back, whatever version, whatever. But yeah, basketball's awesome game. In fact, it was the first league. It was the first game I ever bought. I bought it right before I bought their baseball. I think it was 2003. Right around 2003 or 2002 or three is when I first got it. And I was in the, it's a league still going. The Chuck Star, uh, Chuck Taylor All-Star Basketball League was a draft league. Well, there you go. Uh, midlife, you can't disappoint. I mean, we got some people in the baseball league now that, you know, they, hey, you know, they follow along the draft flow, put their team, figure out who their lineups want to be, and then they just let the computer run everything. So, you know, th this could be as involved. Now, no, I know Bernie's probably, you know, Bernie will be up at night tweaking this lineup because that's how Bernie rolls. Same thing with me and some other people, but yeah. All right. Uh, Bernie's like, how do we set this up? So let's do um,
<sighs> God, how do I take it the other way? Oh, anyway. Will this work it for me? Does it know what I'm trying to do? Yes, it does. That's the way we go. Exactly what I want. It's exactly what I want right there. Yeah, we draft a franchise from a given year, and then that franchise is a limit. Is a limit. No, it's it. The franchise would be open. Um, for the other years, it's just that if you draft a team from a specific year you couldn't go back to that year. In other words, you're only going to get two teams. So if you took a team from 1970 as your first pick, you couldn't go back and take your second team from 70. You'd have to either be 83 or 05. And if your first team you took had a winning record, the next team you took couldn't have a winning record. It'd have to be 500 or below. So what's interesting is in your first pick, some people might, I don't know, go for, a below 500 or, or a 500 below team to get a key player. And maybe that's their first pick and they save their winning team for another one. Clue, are you able to chat? If you are, let me know and I'll bring you in. Yeah, and 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 the other thing midlife is when you keep players, which you can keep four players, Let's say you've got 1970, 71 Kareem. You get to decide, okay, going into your next season, if he's a keeper, whether he goes forward or backward. No doubt he'll go forward. But if you had Oscar Robertson, if I had Oscar Robertson in 70, 71, and I kept him, I want him to go backwards, which you could do. And as soon as the uh, determination is made for those players as keepers, that can't be reversed, but you get to choose forward or back for, backward. Yeah, let me get, let me bring Clue in here. What's up? Good afternoon. It's co-commissioner uh, Brad from uh, coming into the basketball world. Yeah, everybody's friendly neighborhood asshole. So. Yes, well, the same so, two yes. that made your life a living hell in the baseball league are here to replicate that, hopefully, just as well in the... Um, that's all right. I we I, MV doesn't have that big of an impact on me, but oh, good. Close. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think of these seasons? What a great trio of seasons! Uh, I might I just popped in a few minutes ago, got back from my lunch, and uh, saw that, and holy moly, my mind's already racing. What kind of players are out there in each year? Yeah. And uh, trying to remember what teams were on and uh, the 500, the below 500 rule for one of your picks will make it really interesting because you're going to have to find some hidden gems on some of those. Let's do this. Only one team, 500 or better. Second team must be below 500. You know, with thinking about this out loud, with that rule in place, I don't see the problem with drafting the same franchise because I agree. what are the odds that one will be, that, that a you know legacy franchise like the Celtics, for example, would have an off season in one of those years. Uh, so I, I, you know, we have some people in the baseball league who just prefer certain franchises. I don't see any harm in having yep. a real life franchise themed team. If you can get it, I mean, you're still competing yeah. for that team and draft with other people. So, yeah. Yeah. And it, I, I think it's good. So it might be kind of like, okay, um, uh, you know, how do we get, what are we going to call it? When we cut rosters down to 14, the remaining players are lost. They don't become free. Correct, midlife, meaning 
they're unprotected and can only come in in future in future in the second in the next year's draft. Yeah, there there's no um, free agents to pick up on that season. That's why um, with the two star like full teams, we're going to have plenty of minutes to cover like injuries, and then having the two extra players there will help. Uh, uh, not worried about how to go and get, you know, free agents for that season. Yeah. Yeah. Bernie, that's what, that's why I've changed it to. That, that's why the, the, the full, the, the, the nomenclature is up here, for example, like 70, 71, 83, 84, 05, 06. And yes, action uh, for those of you that own action, like for 1970-71 season at Baseball Reference, let's go pull this one up. That is actually going to be – oh, this is slow. Okay. Baseball Reference will have it that way, but if for action – well, you can see when I save mine, I save it the right way. I don't know if anybody else does this. Basketball sometimes will come down and say, uh, might say BB70, which is 7071. But I think I've I've gone in and done everything. I save it when I when I import the season or whatever. I always save it so I know. There it is, 7071. And who stands out in 7071? Let's go take a look at who's the team? Milwaukee. Yeah, and there's that uh, Lou Alcinder, as he was known then, right? Um, stats, yeah, he's a monster. Fifty, Almost 58% field goal, and then you got Oscar Robinson uh, on that team. Bob Dandrich, yeah, that, to me, that's a premier <laughs> team for 70-71. But there's also some other great players that you could get, you know? Who else stands out? Let's look at L.A. So here's another team. You get, I mean, you could take that one, but look at this team. You'd have the right. Now, Elgin Baylor here only played two games, so that's going to suck. Um, but you could make him one of your 14, take him backwards. You got Goodrich going forward, Chamberlain going backwards, and Jerry West going backwards. So even though that Milwaukee had a great record, that's a tough decision to me. It's like you want to go with. Milwaukee, you want to go with Los Angeles. And I know uh, Carlos, I think, mentioned the Knicks as well, because you got Walt Frazier, Willis Reed. Nope. Yeah, 70, 83, and 05 would be the years that start the action files. Like if they don't, if the file you got from action doesn't say 70, 71, and it just says 70, then 70 is going to be 70, 71. They, they always name it that way. And then baseball reference, they just tell you what it is. You do, I mean, you just look at it and go, okay, we got 70, 70, 83, 84 is another one of our seasons. So you can see it's right there. It's easy to find. And that for action would either be just labeled basketball 83 or 83, 84. I can't remember. I think I, I think I manually named them just so it would be visually easier for me to identify with my action files. But here we go. 83, 84. Pfft, here's a couple teams. How about a Larry Bird Celtic team or a Ma Magic and the Lakers and another chance at Kareem. So that's interesting. Who will get Kareem first? Somebody that could possibly take him on the Lakers? Or somebody that could take him with the Bucks. No doppelgangers. Yes. So there are no doppelgangers. And the first person that drafts that player has the right to the player unless they cut him. Meaning if Bernie took the, the Celtics here, or I'm sorry, took the Lakers and took Kareem, and then somebody took the Bucks afterwards, they couldn't draft Kareem unless Bernie let him go and said, yeah, which would never happen, by the way. He never let him go. 
uh, I own none of these seasons. Well, Sean, come on. Is there a sale going on today? And I have to say, the, the the latest iteration of the game is really good, especially if you haven't upgraded in a few. The chalkboard is a lot better. You can sync it with the play-by-play. Uh, -play. And play. And this one is, um, oh, let's look at it database-wise. So let's take a look at 7071. Um, stats, stats, let's go to ratings. So here's all the rating. It's probably hard for people to see. I can't make this bigger. But the ratings is a good one to look at because you can see the ratings in the game. So overall rating at an 8.3 is, of course, Lou Alcindor or Kareem. Shows his defense inside, his rebounding. The game for three-point sh shots will use their outside, their overall shooting and their outside rating. So these will be the ones you'll see put up the most um, – three-point shots here, you know, people you would expect like uh, Havlicek and West and all that. What do you got to say? Anything, Clue? What do you think? Are you looking no, for something I'm, a little bit different? Than looking at, I'm looking at players. <laughs> So Bernie's going to be excited too this weekend. It's like, yeah, hey, okay, now I can dig in. I know Bernie's doing it right now. He's probably yeah. looking at. See, what's the other season we got? Eighty-three. Eighty-three, eighty-four. There's some. Hmm, tough I'm thinking of Isaiah there. and the Piston team, right? Kelly Trapuca on that one, but 83, 84, the Boston team. If you're a Celtic fan, that'd be a good one to get that core group and be able to, um, you still get cornbread Maxwell on that team. DJ. Larry oh, Bird and Kale. Like I love me some cornbread. Uh, 83, 84. So that's right before, that's the year before Michael Jordan got there. So no Jordan. No Jordan. But you got a young LeBron in 05. You got that Tim Duncan Spurs team. Yeah, Kelly Tripuka. Are only the players on a franchise I draft is the base for the future? My, yes. So let's say you got – let me go pull up that little mock-up we did here. We're going to get midlife questions answered so he becomes number 12 for us. Sam Bowie. Um, draft league test. So this was a team we had here, right? So we had the 2002 and three uh, Washington Wizards and the 1964-65 Royals with Oscar Robertson. So if this was your team, like after season one, you got a winning team and a, and a non-winning team. You come in here and you go, okay, I got a, here's my 14. I got to keep. You would pick which four you would keep. And out of this, I would probably keep Oscar Robertson. Jack Twyman, <laughs> Michael Jordan, and I would say I'm going to keep Michael Jordan in 02, and I'm going to each subsequent year I keep him, he's going to go backward. And I would take um, Robertson forward, probably, Jerry Lucas forward. Then I'd have to figure out who my fourth keeper would be. So then when you keep him, uh, like Oscar Robertson for season two of our league, you'd have either 1963 or 65 Robertson, and then so on. Same thing with Michael. You'd just be, okay, I'll have him next year in 01, and then 2000, 99. Yeah, we, well, think about that, Carlos. That's some great stuff coming into the future. We did. We missed Jordan by one year and Elijah Wan by a year. Um, it'll be uh, one more midlife. Because you got, you got to keep in mind, we've got three seasons, but you're only going to get two picks, meaning you'll have one of these seasons that you don't even choose from. We're all, we're go, you're going to combine your team out of two teams. 
not all three. Yeah. And yes, I think going into it, we would, what did we talk about clue? Would we take in the next year? We would take two more teams, right? A winning one team. team and a losing one team. team. Oh, in it the, would be one yes. team. Yes. Ooh, that might one be tough. Team. We might have to think that through once we get this. We would, I don't know. we would have smaller keepers. Yeah. Because we're keeping four, so that's presumably your four starting players. Yeah. Yeah, you, that is a good point. You're bringing up the fact you've already got your core. You've got 80% of your starters in theory, unless you were doing something crafty. Yeah. Like in this case, you might be protecting Michael or somebody that you're going to wait a year. You know what I mean? Where you may only use three of those four in that year, but you know you've got like a really good player that it's going to be really good in a few years down the road. So, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, keep the questions coming. I'm about ready to pencil midlife in. Let me see here. And this is this is a challenge. Um, I'm dropping it right here, midlife. I don't know if you're part of our Discord. Oh, maybe. So if you're part, but if you join our Discord, that's where the Field of Dreams baseball is. There's a channel just for the court dreams. Yes, you're exactly right, midlife. And and you and only one of those two teams can be. Um, 500 or above, the other one has to be below. Exactly, exactly. Look at this. Midlife can't come in here and ask this many questions without not being put on this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There. And there Bernie will say, I'll wait here officially if Bernie says, do it. Let's start drawing the uh, the draft order, right? If you guys let me know. We've got 12. I can pull up the random. Yeah, I, except we, we do need to clarify one rule after the baseball league. Uh, we've learned our lesson. Um, any European participants are excluded from the first overall pick in the draft. Oh, we're – okay, we're uh, – <laughs> Not that anybody in particular yeah. was in mind when that rule came yep. came about. And what Bernie's saying, to to have your second team be one that's sub 500, he's exactly right. There are some great teams that you can go get like a stellar player or two um, for sure. Well, where's my random? God bless. Where's the random generator? We can, we can at least get the order. So we know what team numbers there are. Let's see here. I can come over here. What do we got? Okay. So we got 12 teams. And do we... Okay. So we got no repeats. Is it on? Oh, yeah. We're going to draw 12 numbers out of the 12 with no repeats. That'll work, right? Yeah, it should. All right, let's do it. Random number one is... Oh, there it goes. It gave us the order. Eight. So team eight would be one. Slashed. Congratulations. Yeah. So I would say one, right? Team three. Ah, oh, Sean. Sean with the second pick. 
There we go. North America represented. Team five is three. Hammer time. Team. Todd. Uh, what's the next one? Four. Is four. Okay, yeah. Team two. Five. No, four is. Yeah. It's fifth. Uh, two team is nine you. is six. David, Team Dwayne. 11. So oh, Dwayne's and, next. Yep. Then Bernie. Then MV. Okay. Then Carlos. And last is me. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Nine. Oh, oh, I got this wrong. So, team. We, okay. That's wrong, right? We missed midlife. Midlife it's is. Slashed, it's slashed. Then it's Sean. Then it's Hammer Time. Then it's Todd. Then it's Steve. Then it is David. Then it's Dwayne. Then Bernie. Then, excuse me, then midlife. Midlife is between Bernie and MV. Okay, and so you're 12? Yeah, I'm the last one. Yeah, and then after MV, it's uh, Carlos and I. Carlos is 11 nice. and I'm 12. But this is a nice. snake yep. for the inaugural draft, right? Yeah. So. Well, that's different. Love it. Okay. Um, six is David. Hey, I, I guess I could put my name in instead of the damn number. It didn't make any sense. Is Slashed in here with us right now? I don't know. Slash Deep, if you're in here, uh, say something in the chat, please. Um, I don't think I saw him in the... Well, this will be interesting. You got the back to backer. Yeah. Bernie's the one that usually likes that spot. Oh, clue. Come on. I'm getting the wrong <laughs> one. What the hell did I do? Oh, my God. Copying stuff over the wrong things. There we go. Dang, let the wheels spin. Now, Steve, do we want to do draft night? On, Correct. Do it on a single night? Yeah. Well, I I think or, with some of these people, it, it's getting it going in our uh, channel there under Fields of Dreams, under the basketball channel, and just okay. let people research and get it going. Uh, midlife yeah. crisis is... I'm going to say true midlife crisis is right. Yeah, you can't keep them in the same season. So you'd have to pick like 
somebody has 70 Oscar Robertson, you got to say, yeah, you got to tell us forward or backwards. And then once he's headed that direction, even if you traded him, he's still headed in that direction. So the first owner that keeps a guy determines the direction he's going to go. It's probably the yeah, easiest way to say it. Yeah, but you have to determine that until, yeah, until you keep him at the end of the season. So Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And... Equal trades allowed, um, meaning one for player, one, two. Yeah, for yeah. You can't trade one player for two players. In other words, it has to be if you trade players with the team, it has to be an equal number of players moving over. If you draft a third-year player, yep. Yep. Then when you run out of seasons, he goes right off. Um, if it's a did not play season, uh, it goes to the next season where they had games. But if it's a game where they, it's a season where they actually put up numbers, then you've got, you're stuck with it. That's what we're doing in the baseball league. Great example would be. Um, where was he? Uh, this guy for 70, 71, it's Elgin Baylor, right? This would be a perfect example right here. If you've got Baylor, you can draft this team and you would just have, you're stuck with Baylor. But let's say you had Baylor, you know, let's say one of these two or nine games were somewhere in the middle of his career. Yeah, you'd be stuck with, hey, yeah, I'm going to protect him even though I'm not going to get much use out of him because I don't want to lose him. Or you could just say, hey, I'm, I'm not keeping him. He's not worth keeping because he doesn't have enough games. There will be some decisions that happen just like in our baseball league where that where that happens. But if there's like a, a complete did not play, then we'll just go right past it onto the next one. Quentin Daly. A bull. Oh, yeah, guaranteed right there. So, a, yeah. Although he's got 82 games, so that's pretty good. But, yeah, but, I mean, you, you could take him back forward. If you thought, like, 82 was a great season, maybe you just want to get him for one more and cut him loose. With second pick, oh, yeah, definitely. That's 100% what you're thinking, Sean. Now, don't sleep on the fact that each season has some, you know, because you got good Laker and Celtic teams in 83, 84, and then you also, what is it, that those Spur, Tim Duncan teams or the uh, Piston championship team there, uh, that, that group Billups and Rasheed Wallace, so. But yeah, you got the second pick. How did how does Sean get the first pick in one or didn't he get the second pick in the baseball draft too? Mm, yeah. Like third or third or fourth. I, I thought, think he but... was second after MV. And that's MV took the yeah. Yankees and he took the Tigers. I, I guess Canadians are just lucky to live in the shadow wow. of respect. He cheats, Americans. Carlos says. He cheats. <laughs> Uh, I haven't heard Ber much from Bernie. You know what he's doing? But, but, well, Bernie's made the comment, lots of great players on sub-500 teams because he's looking. And that might be, after research, that might be the jewel is finding a real jewel with key players that are sub-500 and taking a sub-500 with your first pick. Yeah, of course, you don't have that problem. Well, because mm, yeah, you're going to get two picks right next to each other. Mm. 
Slashed, you got the frickin' first pick. Welcome in. <laughs> yeah. What's it going to be? Yeah. So Slashed has, let me back this down. We can yeah. see the whole order here. He has, yeah. Well, I guess I could just say 13th pick, right? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, that'll work. Yep, Slash, so you've got the pick. Anytime hey, you want to pick it now, we'll keep the list going and post it on the Discord. And Midlife, if you haven't joined up yet, Pop on into the Discord. Hey, Slash, look at the, are you not looking, seeing, oh, look at the screen, man. That's you. Look at the draft order over here. This is the draft order. Right there. You are the first and last pick in the 24 pick draft. Yes. The seasons, if you don't know, are right here. These are the three seasons. You can only take two teams from those three seasons. You can't take more than one team from any season. And only one of your teams can be 500 or better. The uh, If you take a 500 or better team, the other one has to be below 500. And then you'll make a 14-man roster with 12 being active out of those two teams. Sean has already got his – Sean's researching. He's got a – you'd say he's got an easy pick, but I think with some of the, like the top five or, um, you know, five or six teams, it, it's not maybe that easy which one of those you want to go with. No, there's – and there's going to be more winning teams than not every season, so. Yeah. Here we go. I'm getting my spreadsheet completed now. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can start up basketball spreadsheets. This will be fun. And Bernie's oh wife can thank us all because now Bernie, he's got more to research than just worry about the next thing in basket baseball. Now he's got baseball and basketball going. And there, we even have looked at this too for the other sport, football. Right? I, I know Bernie said. It was a, too many players to worry about and all that because then he, he wouldn't sleep at all. But that's the next thing to think about is where do we get at least 12 to kick off a league, you know, and do take the same kind of approach with um, football team. Fun stuff. Yeah. Now, here's a question to be clear because just in this draft alone, I noticed there are exactly five teams that meet this description. So uh, the winning, losing clubs, one winning, one losing club, a 500, exactly 500 record, 41 and 41. That counts as a winning club, correct? Yes. So they must, it's 500 or better and yes. under 500. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let me type this in here. Is that as I said, that's five out of the seventy teams we have to choose from are exactly yep. five hundred this time. <laughs> He's going good. Here's I'll drop that in chat. This is important. 
And then these two will be important too. Hey, draft day starts right now, Slash. Technically, yeah, we'll keep it going in the Discord, but draft day's right now. I mean, you're the number one pick, so let I mean, as long as you know the three years, if there's a team that stands out, I mean, just keep in mind only only one are, are, is going to be um, 500 or better, and then the, your other team must be below 500. And you can't pick two teams from the same season, and you're only going to get two total out of the three options you have. Sean's basically like, go, man, go. I got mine. I got it. Freaking Sean's going to win this league. I can already sense it. I can sense it. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I forgot about that uh, Pistons team. Yeah, mm -hmm. you mean the 05 team? Yeah. Yeah, they're really good for that era. So we have 38 winning clubs and 32 losing clubs. And did you count the ABA? I did not. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was an oversight. Yeah. Gonna have to correct that right now. Why didn't that show up? Ah, okay. That's why. NBA and ABA both eligible. So since seventy seventy one was it uh, a year they had the ABA, you could take your losing team or winning team from that year as well. It doesn't just have to be the NBA. Gotcha. They do not have a link on the NBA season page to the ABA season like they do over at baseball. Like the hot link? Yeah, there's no hot link, so that's why I'm – okay. Yeah, Sean, but i got to be honest with you. The good teams from that year don't have the, the core players like um, – just my thought, but take a look at them, like Utah, the Pacers – Squires. Yeah, they did. It's, it's. They're not the same. Yeah. Mm, all right. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I was surprised too. They're a little too early. There, there's some later. Like if you got couple years that Indiana team that had um, McGinnis on it. Right, let me take a look at the one we got. Um, ABA, NBA. ABA 7071. Yeah, well, the Kentucky Colonels are a little over 500. But, yeah, that's Dan Izzle's there, but it's not when you had, like, in, in a couple of years, you're going to have Dan Izzle and uh, Gilmore. Now, here's something to think about. The Nets are, oh, maybe I should shut up. The, the Nets have Rick Barry on them, and they're under. They're an under. But... Yeah, it does make it kind of fun. We And for those that don't know, when we were messing around with this, the other, that's how we came across this with MV and Clue where I were kind of mapping this out. That. Yeah, no clock, Bernie. I mean, I, I, there's no reason to rush through it. I think there's some folks here that express interest that aren't on the broadcast tonight and may just have to catch up and chat tomorrow. So I don't. Yeah, Dampier with a three-point shot. I know if Slash picks, Sean's probably ready to go. 
And then Hammer, then we'll probably wait because Hammer Time, who's on the Discord with us, is like, he's ready to go. All right, so my bad. <clears throat> we have 81 teams to choose from. 42 winning teams and 39 losing teams. So almost evenly split. Oh. Plenty of choices. Plenty of choices. The key with basketball is funny is because you go to those teams that have the best record, but sometimes you could have like a middle-of-the-road team that has a couple good players. Yeah, out of the uh, <laughs> out of the thirty nine losing clubs, eleven of them made the playoffs in their respective seasons. So they had to have somebody on there good enough to. Interesting. Yep. Very interesting. And is it, oh, we're going to need names, right? Like, who are we going to be? Do we keep the same names like we do in baseball? What's my franchise going to be called? Hmm. I might have to keep my Lehigh Lizards. I don't know what else to do. Let us know, Sean. You got a name? Bernie? I don't know if I'm creative enough to come up with a new... A new team name. I know Bernie, he challenged me, so we got something accomplished today where it gives him something to research. We're ready to roll. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and then you got to think about sean you got to think about too it's like okay you get some good players that year right but who's got who's got maybe the best value for longer you know keeper runs you know you get a couple of these key hall of famers like these you know like jabbar and jerry west and things like that t little bears Wonder what obscure movie reference Clue's going to come up with. What do you think? Hmm. Bernie, I'm the same way. I don't... Bernie says Vegas stars. What do you think, Sean? We keeping with the Canada theme? Slash is digging through the encyclopedia right now. The Ontario Timberwolves. It is.
There you go, Ontario Timberwolves. Could Clue name a team after the Carolinas? No. No? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's a no. Okay, five-year buffer's out, so we don't need that. <clears throat> There we go. We've got the Tralf, Tralfamador. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tralfamador? The Vonnegut's. Oh, there you go. All right. Wouldn't uh, Galapagos be more appropriate for the Vonnegut's? Or maybe not. Got some neat names in here. Yeah, so you're, I know everybody, you could see the smoke coming out of uh, basketball reference right now. Everybody researching. Yeah, Marv Albert. It's the Tralfamador Vonnegut. This is going to take a while to analyze because all the modifiers, I know Bernie's looking at that, you know. The interesting is sometimes finding your below 500 team. In fact, I ought to do my research off, <laughs> off camera here, right? I pull up my sheet. That's one strategy. Look at the sub 500 teams. Hmm. All right. I have an I have one inspired by Sean. Do you? Yep. Slash Deep is taking showtime. Man, he got oh. Kareem. So that renders that renders that Milwaukee team less useful right there with that pick. Oh yeah, and he's got McAdoo back. Yeah, he's smart there. So slash takes team eighty three. Right. 
84 Lakers. And then it, since that, I'm going to put um, over 500 teams with um, – with uh, a little highlight on them, so that way we know. So, Sean, you are officially up. So you can take that buck team <laughs> and throw it in the trash. The liver. <laughs> the lawnmowers. I like it. Oh, McAdoo's a beast. Bob McAdoo, yeah, I like that Brave team when they had McAdoo and Randy Smith. He's going to get to be like a 40-plus minute a game scoring machine. Oh, yeah, dude. Magic, Kareem. Cooper. Yeah, Michael Cooper. Oh, That's Jamal a good Wilkes. One, man. Yeah, he's got Will. I mean, a lot of effort, but I'm I'm thinking already like keeper and Slash just saying that, but he might have to kick one of those guys to the curb if he gets his second team with better, some better players. You know, he can afford to be picky now with his second team. So, yep, Nixon is on that team. Now Sean's feeling the pressure. It's like, oh, okay. He's only down to four teams right now. Yeah, we'll come to a screeching hall here. We'll have to hit up hammer time. As soon as Sean gets his pick in, we can come chat about it on the Discord. And again, if anybody's not part of the Discord, so you, we can keep the draft going over there. I will post it. Yes, slashed. You are exactly right. Next team has to be Uber five hundred. <laughs> Bernie's like, yeah, Sean won't have a pick. Yep, Uber under five hundred for sure.
Yeah, he's talking about. Yeah, he's got 13 years of Kareem going back. And if and if Sean or whoever would have got the Bucks or he would have taken the Bucks, you'd have 13 years of him going forward or more. But yeah, but going backwards in in a weird way, he's going to get better every year. So you don't have to worry about center. <laughs> the Kareem team. Yeah, Sean. Hey, welcome. That's what we kept telling you. you. The Bucks are worthless now because Kareem just got taken when Slash took the eighty-three, eighty-four Lakers. So that seventy, seventy-one Bucks team is is nothing compared to what it used to be. Sean snags up Wilt Chamberlain. And I'm going to highlight it as a plus 500 team. Damn. That was one I was eyeballing for sure. So Sean's got, he says, I don't care about your uh, Jabbar. I got Wilt Chamberlain and Jerry West and Elgin Baylor and Goodridge. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. So, Well, I guess that brings uh, drafting to a screeching halt right now. What do you think? Clue's uh, probably talking to somebody right now. So I'm going to disconnect. And I'm going to say, if everybody wants to meet over and chat in the uh, baseball dugout area, feel free to. I posted the Discord there, Midlife. I didn't know if you were part of that one or not. Come on in. I've got a channel set up just for the Court Dreams basketball stuff, and I'll start posting the information, the draft list here, where we're at. And I just instant messaged uh, Hammer Time. And Todd B will be excited as hell, too. I know that. And David to get things going. So Bernie is going to be sitting there waiting a bit. It's probably killing him, but he'll do some more research. But hey, We got the ball rolling on this now. So now instead of worrying about baseball league, we've got another league to worry about and have fun. Yeah, but I'll tell you this, Sean. If you told me I could have Larry Bird and like McHale or I could have Jerry West and Wilt Chamberlain in the year that you got them going backwards, I'm taking West and Chamberlain all day long over Bird and McHale or Bird, McHale and Parrish. Not even close. So I'm going to kill the broadcast here, but uh, yeah, pop on over and we can uh, start BSing <laughs> about this in the, uh, in the dugout. So I'll see you over there in about 10 minutes after I go take care of my dogs. <laughs>